Hello epic people and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about my concept to the future of the TTC and the future of the Mississauga Transitway. Without further ado, let's get started. This is the current TTC map. And this is the TTC map in a few years or maybe even in 2030. What changes do you notice? Well, there are a lot of additions. Line 1, which is the yellow line on the e east side, gets extended up north to Richmond Hill Center. Line 2, the green line, gets extended to Scarborough Town Center and up to Shepherd. And line 3 gets closed. Nothing changes to neglected line 4, the purple line. Line 5, the orange line, finally opens, which connects Kennedy to Runford Station, which is connected to the Mississauga Transitway. Line 6, the gray line, Finch West LRT, connects Finch West to Humber College. And line 7, the dark blue line, which is probably still under construction by 2030, which connects the Science Center and Ontario Place. Let's move on to what changes I would make to the system. First off, line 2. Instead of going fully underground, I would instead use the disused Line 3 corridor and redo all the stations along the corridor to accommodate the Line 2 trains. This change would further use the Line 3 routing to Scarborough Town Center and ending at McCowan. Line 2 in the future and my concept of Line 2 in the future. I apologize in advance if the connections disturb you. Anyways, moving on to Line 4. The changes I would make to... Line 4 is to break the negligence of the line and extend the line both west and east. Let's talk about the Shepherd West extension. I would extend Line 4 to Shepherd West, creating platforms below the existing Shepherd West station. Staying on the topic of the Shepherd West extension, I would connect the line to Wilson Yard, staying separated from Line 1. Going on to the Shepherd East extension, I would extend the line further along Shepherd and then go south, connecting to the Scarborough Town Center station on Line 2. Current Line 4, and my concept for the future of Line 4. Let's go to Line 5. With it planning to open in 2022 and the west extension to Renford Station underway, there's already a lot on Line 5's plate. Well, what if there was more to give onto its plate? Of course there is. One of the things is to extend the line to the north to Pearson International Airport. Line 5 in 2022 and my concept for the future expansion of Line 5. It's time for Line 6, the Finch West LRT. With it still under construction and causing a hell of a disruption, might as well put an extension. This extension would only be necessary if Line 4 continues to get neglected. This extension would extend the line further east and ending at Finch Station on the east side of Line 1. Current planned Line 6 and um, Line 6 if it, um, if Line 4 continues to get um, cough cough neglected. And finally, Line 7. Besides the fact that its purpose is to be the downtown relief line, we could extend the line further north to Don Mills Station on Line 4 or a new station along the line. So that is all for the future and my concept for the future of the TTC. Good night. Wait, 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 wait. You don't think I forgot about the Mississauga Transit Way, did you? Of course not. So here it is. Based off official info, um, I forgot where it came from, but I know someone said it. Apparently, the transit way was designed with the fact that in the future, it could be easily converted into an LRT. All they need to do is dig up ground for the rails, extend the platforms, add fare gates, and bail an LRT. But it can't be that easy, can it? Well, of course not. The problem is city center. The transitway doesn't have a dedicated route through city center as it goes off to Ratburn, stops off at the tra transit terminal, and then on to the 403 where it continues on to Aaron Mills and Winston Churchill. I have two solutions for this. 
One of my proposals is to dig under city center, have a station right where the old Palladium Arcade is, and then emerge on the right side on the westbound 403, where it will continue alongside the 403 until it connects to Aaron Mills Station. Of course, digging is no easy task, and with the surrounding areas already developed, it makes this task much more challenging. With this in mind, I have another proposal. This proposal uses the current routing, which means that it can or cannot have a dedicated right-of-way. Thus, can go in two ways. One of them is for the city center section of the LRT to be like a streetcar, with no grade separation. The downsides to this is that there will be lots of disruption from the construction as they would need to dig up the road and fill it up again. The second way this could go is to connect the LRT with the future planned city center station on the Huron Ontario LRT, resulting in only having to build one station. Problems with this is that while the Huron Ontario LRT will use the Alstom Citadel Spirit fleet, the Mississauga Transitway LRT will probably use a different fleet. In the end of the day, this LRT solves many problems. So yeah, I guess that's my concept for the future of the transit on the TTC and the Mississauga Transitway. Thanks for watching and good night.